Happy Wednesday, everyone. So a bit of a change in the forecast. You may have noticed it yesterday. We had some winds pick up a little bit of shower activity moving on through early this morning. Still some potential showers, but I think for the most part we are drying things out. You can see that little blip in the radar right there. A little bit of shower activity connected to low pressure out in the Gulf of Alaska, just down off of the Yukon area, for example. So as we look further off to the northwest, we do have plenty of potential, but that's not exactly what we're going to see as we go over the next couple of days. We do have shower hours possible out there, but again, mainly off to the north of us. Watch what happens as we go from Wednesday into Thursday. We have a new system moving in. We've got high pressure moving in over the course of really the next few days. And as it does continue to move on in, that brings us better and better potential. Some warmer, hotter, drier conditions you can see building up quite a bit right here. So if we put a summary on everything I'm talking about while we have low pressure out there and it will eventually move in towards the beginning of next week, we stay dry through the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, some of the warmest days of the year so far. And then we have a wetter forecast towards Monday and Tuesday of next week as the high pressure breaks down, low pressure moves in. Also moving on in and already breaking apart. We have a system moving on through from the northwest. This is a front pretty well defined for a second there out off the coast moving on in and then breaking apart is makes its way to the Cascades, barely even making it to the Medford area. So we can zoom in on that just a bit. A bit stormier near Pendleton, so we'll be watching that for any potential flooding. But for us, nowhere close to that. But luckily seeing just a little bit of a potential for some snow around Crater Lake. So we will be watching that as well. That system, most of us probably won't even notice it as we wake up this morning. Maybe some sprinkles on your windshield. It just wasn't that strong. So as we look at the potential, as we go through the day today and a bit of tomorrow and a little bit of Friday, you can see clearing things out towards the afternoon on Wednesday. Still, it was a cold front that moved through, so will be cooler temperatures today. Clear out the skies more for Thursday and a good part of Friday. And because of that, it's going to be warm. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be dry through the weekend. Then luckily we're seeing a chance of decent chance of some showers towards next week. Until then today, not too far off of yesterday, just starting out pretty cloudy. And that'll keep us cooler as we go through the morning. 59 degrees for Bandon this afternoon, about 64 for Brookings. Winds are starting to shift, so it'll be warmer in Brookings compared to the rest of the coast over the next couple of days. Temperatures also cooler in the West Valleys, cloudy early, then mostly sunny. Just takes more time to get there. And because that your temperatures right around average. We're usually around 70 degrees for Medford. I'll say 71 today and then partly cloudy, then mostly sunny as the day goes on east of the Cascades, 50s and 60s as opposed to mainly the upper 60s that we saw yesterday. In your seven day forecast, it's warm, it's sunny, it's dry right through the weekend, right through Mother's Day and then very quickly a shift back to cooler temperatures. We get into Monday and Tuesday of next week. Also pretty decent chance of some showers. That's good to see. I like seeing showers in the forecast for the Klamath Basin. Also very warm, sunny and dry over the next five days, but it's seven day forecast going into Monday and Tuesday. A little bit of a chance of showers there as well. Northern California also seeing that potential shower activity as we go into next week after a warm, sunny, dry week ahead. And for the coast, check effect keeping Brookings and Harbor warmer and outside of a few stray showers early this morning, your next best chance of showers that'll be towards Monday and Tuesday of next week.